Hey there, Mr. Jones. I'm Dr. Leroy Brownstein. Looking here, I got your results, and uh, it's looking like you got the tuberculosis. Afraid the results are conclusive. I only understand things at the 6th to 8th grade reading level with lots of pictures. Okay, Mr. Jones, I got something for you. Lucky for you, I assume all my patients have a 6th to 8th grade reading level. But I gotta hurry, I only got 5 minutes to tell you all this. Tuberculosis, also known as TB, is an infection caused by the bacteria Myobacterium tuberculosis. It is spread through the air from one person to another. The TB bacteria can settle in the lungs and begin to grow. From there, it can move through the blood to other parts of the body, such as kidneys, spine, and brain. Anyone can get tuberculosis. It is spread when someone who has tuberculosis in the lungs or throat coughs, sneezes, speaks, or sings, and someone nearby breathes in that bacteria. There are two types of tuberculosis. Someone can have an active TB infection or a latent TB infection. Now listen up. I'm going to explain to you the difference between an active and latent infection. When it's active, the tuberculosis is active, meaning that it is multiplying and destroying tissues in the body. People with an active infection will show symptoms and they are capable of spreading the germs to others. Now you're going to ask, well, what about latent infection? Hold on and I'll tell you. Basically, the real deal with the latent infection here is your immune system stopped it. It stopped it from spreading it. It locked it down. Now, people with the latent infection, they cannot spread the bacteria to others, but they can develop active TB in the future. Now, I know you're starting to doze off here, but listen up, this is important. Here's your signs and symptoms. You got weakness or fatigue, sweating at night, pain in the chest, coughing up blood or sputum, weight loss and no appetite, chills and fever, and a bad cough lasts more than three weeks. Okay? Now, one more thing here I want to point out. Look at the picture of these lungs here. You got the one up top nice clear, one down below. See all that white stuff? That's no good. That there's your TB. Fun facts. Go. In 2011, there are 8.7 million new cases of active tuberculosis worldwide. In that same year, there are 1.4 million deaths caused by tuberculosis. And today, there are 2 billion people worldwide that have that latent infection I was talking about. 90% of those infected have asymptomatic latent infection, meaning that they show no symptoms. Tuberculosis is second only to HIV AIDS as the greatest killer worldwide due to a single infectious agent. And one in four people that are HIV positive will die from TB. Now I want you to use your brain here for a second. Why you think one in four HIV patients is dying with TB? It's because their immune system's compromised. It can't take out the trash like it used to. Now I'm going to stand up and tell you this little tidbit. There are 310,000 cases of multi-drug resistant tuberculosis in the year 2011 alone. Now think about this folks. We are diagnosing people with all sorts of things they don't have and giving them drugs. What you think is going to happen? Now listen up these risk factors. You got an HIV infection and a recent TB bacteria infection. That's in the last two years. You are at risk. Any health problems such as diabetes make it hard for your body to fight back. Alcohol, illegal drug use, mistreatment of TB infection in the past, they ain't treated all the way. Last one's any medical condition that can weaken the immune system. And that goes back to what I was saying before. You know, any kind of compromised immune system, you're in trouble from these guys. Now, in 2011, 60% of new cases were from China, India, Russia, Pakistan, and South Africa. Now, why do you think that is? Now, of course, we got to talk about diagnosis here, don't you think? So first thing we're going to do is a TB skin test. We can also do a TB blood test to test for uh, diagnosis. And uh, if we got positive to either one of them tests, we're going to do further tests. Now, that's looking like a x-ray or a sputum culture most times. Now, one last thing, and my five minutes is up, so i got to go quick. Without treatment, TB is going to be fatal. Spinal pain, joint damage, swelling of membranes, it covers your brain, that's meningitis. Liver, kidney problems, and heart disorders all, all going to happen. Now, once you're treated, you're most likely not to see the disease again in a healthy individual. Boom. That there's all you need to know. Boom. <sighs>